July 25th, 2023, and I'm finally getting my hands on my very first newly released Coachman Brookstone model number 352 RLD. I've only seen one other prototype video on YouTube since this one was released, and I'm kind of excited to get it opened up to see the changes that have been made since that prototype. I don't know, one of them is already going to be the outdoor entertainment slash kitchen. And if you're just curious, with the slides closed, you still have access to the fridge, maybe to make a sandwich while you're at the rest station, and you have plenty of counter space available, and you still have access to both your bathroom and the main bedroom. But if you're new here, we do welcome you to the channel, and let's get started. All right, now that we have this thing opened up all the way, this is the new 2023 Coachman Brookstone model number 352 RLD. The RL does stand for rear living, so this is a one bedroom, one bath layout with four total slides, and it's gonna have a total length of right at 42 feet length. I'm talking about keeping it cool in the summer, three 15K air conditioners. You also have that additional 190 watt solar panel found on the roof. But let's go ahead and make our way inside and then we'll come out and go over a few things here. So I've only seen one other video on this coach from Brookstone and it was a prototype. There's a very well-known YouTuber who did one and this is a big, big change from that prototype video that he did. A shot of some of the stickers on the outside. So Asdell on board, not only on the outside, but also on the inside, which cuts down on a lot of the moisture found in a lot of the RVs. So 42 feet in length, I'll provide you with maybe an estimated, uh, probably 15 to 17 feet of straight walking through your kitchen and your living room. So four total slide outs on board and three of which are found right here in your living and kitchen. But I figured since it's a rear living, we'll go ahead and start all the way back here in the back and then make our way all the way towards the front. So from the bottom to the top, most of your heat will be coming from the 40,000 BTU furnace. You only have one floor vent in the entire coach. The rest are cabinet heat and I'll be sure to point those out as we go through. But you also have the electric fireplace that produces right at 5,000 BTUs of heat. You can turn the flame off though, and maybe just utilize the lights to assist your guests with moving around. That's a Furion sound bar and a really big 50 inch TV. All of your window treatments are trimmed out with white roller shades, Thomas Paint Collection furniture. And one thing also to point out, with the living room being 102 inches wide, you get the larger sleeper sofa. And this thing opens up to about the size of a king size bed. I'll try to overlay another video about here, showing that opened up give you guys a better idea on how much walk around room you'll possibly have. So this is also Thomas Paine collection. These are theater seats. You have a light, heat massage, several different options. And you also have a little bit of storage maybe for the television controller. So if you're familiar with the, the Brookstone, maybe from previous models, you probably have already noticed a big change from last year's and that's gonna be the removal removal of all the carpet on board as well as the linoleum change i'm actually i'm actually liking the new change it's pretty nice they still have stayed with the darker cabinets that seems to be a brookstone kind of thing the white roller shades is also continuing over from last year so i'm guessing the rld is for dinette this is going to be your sitting which i think you can use this for a multiple multiple kind of function area Maybe for your laptop, if you're looking for a place to sit down and do some, do some work, or like me to edit some videos, you have 110 outlets provided. And during transportation, all of your stools are gonna stay here. There is a strap underneath those. So that's nice, look at this. You actually have real tile backsplash in your kitchen. Usually you have the cheap wallpaper stuff, so that's a big change for Brookstone this year. They stay true with all of their residential size appliances. This is the bigger Insignia oven. Heavy duty grates on the top, solid surface countertops all the way throughout your kitchen also. 
Here's my hand in reference to the size, and this is adjustable by three. Some storage. Here's one thing I'd like to point out that I feel like Brookstone could have done better with. They have great cabinetry. They even accent a lot of their cabinetry with accent lights. Those are very, very nice. However, look at the hinges on your cabinets. These are like 1980. I'm like, I have a bad habit of this. I slam a lot of stuff. So my wife purposely have slam closed resistant latches in the kitchen of our house because I slam, it's a habit. So I feel like that's a big upgrade that Brookstone could do. 17 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. This will work off of that 190 watt solar panel found on the roof. And this is your freezer. I'm videoing with a GoPro, so I'm doing my best to get the best angle I possibly can of everything. So let me show you some of that storage that I was talking about though, your cabinets. This is like a glass accent. And I like the accent lights inside of the cabinets like this. They do a really great job over here with the pantry. That's probably at least 24 inches deep. And that one's a little bit more shallow because on the outside there is additional storage, maybe even room for a television there. So let's look at your overall counter space, the way it flows. Solid surface countertops though, but if you're a bigger chef, what's your opinion? Would you like the separation the way they've done it? Like this. I like to cook, I like my room in the kitchen, but I also enjoy my countertops being a little closer together. And then what makes a big difference too, it's 102 inches wide. And with this flush mounted slide, the way the floor looks, it just makes it looks like it's freaking huge. So one, two, three, possibly five feet of space right there. So the video that I saw about seven, eight months ago, which was a prototype, did not have this additional storage right here next to the door. And I feel like this can be made into something else. I feel like some changes can be made. But it's a still a pretty cool little coat closet. Good place maybe to set an umbrella once you come inside. But again, going back to the outdated hinges, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. So I feel like I've gone over pretty well the living, the kitchen, some of the heating. I did not go over the cooling though. So on board the Brookstone, you've got not one, not two, but three 15K Coleman Mock air conditioners. And typically if you have an RV of this size and you are attempting to run three air conditioners, you, you either can't run them all at once or you can only run the 13.5 compared to the 15K. However, there's a switch here that we're gonna go over, but basic controls first. You got slide in and out, awning extended retract. You have some light switches, awning switches, exterior lights as well. Tank heater, so yes, this is a four season camper. And of course, a lot more additional light switches right over here. A lot of these, you'll probably flip a switch and you're like, well, nothing came on, but it's your cabinet lights. Brookstone is well known for light switches all about their camper. However, this switch right over here, when you're running three air conditioners, if you are, let's say, mainly focusing your time down here, you want to keep the bedroom cool, but let's just really focus this. The power management system, right now it's on circuit B, and it lets the, lets the computer know, yeah, I want to keep the bedroom cool, but I'm mainly focusing on the living room. You can select your circuit over to circuit A. There we go. And it then lets the system know that you're now going to bed so it's going to shut off this additional 15k here turning on or leaving on this 15k here still maintaining the temperature in the living and kitchen but now allowing the bedroom to become a lot more cooler so coming upstairs this bedroom is absolutely amazing you've got a king size bed a lot of walk around room and speaking of that i'm going to show you guys something <laughs> I try to stay off the videos, but I just couldn't resist it. So this is just one side. You've got plenty of room to walk on both sides of the bed. But now look at that. <laughs> there is just so much room the way they've made this change. So much walk around room. Plus it gives this really big additional bonus for all the ladies. If you saw the prototype video, there was a sink 
in the bedroom. Well, I guess Brookstone decided against that sink and put it back in the bathroom. But this is just absolutely lovely. I have a video of my daughter who does work for me temporarily, so I will incorporate that now of her sitting there. And she said she has plenty of room possibly to make her makeup or just do whatever it is that they decide to do with the mirror. But going over the bed now, absolutely lovely bed, king size bed. I like the additional cup holders on both sides. This is something cool too. You notice the outlets right over the top of the window shade. So yes, you can possibly utilize that for a shelf, maybe for your phone, plus the cup holder. That's very, very nice. Coming around to the foot of the bed though, some additional storage with the hidden section that always lifts up, something that's standard on a lot of Brookstones now. Walking space, you're probably at least at maybe 26 to 28 inches. You have room for a stackable washer and dryer. This is a pretty standard closet for a fifth wheel, but they still have left the carpet. I guess they just can't get away from it. And under the bed, trimmed out nicely. Again, what do you guys think of this kind of makeup station? What do you call it? I think it's great. Lots of room for the ladies. Even for me, I'm not gonna lie. One thing I like about the Brookstone is the ceiling height once you're upstairs. So I'm a bigger, taller guy. I've got probably five, maybe six inches over my head, so plenty of room in the shower. That's a porcelain foot flush toilet. You do have the seat inside the shower also. Plenty of leg room. And just look at the space. Over two feet of room here. Porcelain sink. I would have liked to maybe have seen the solid surface countertops continued into the bathroom instead of this pressed membrane, but the, the added touch with the porcelain sink is kind of nice. So let's look at the price and the MSRP. Again, if you'd like to see some additional photos, I always leave a link that's in that description down below. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and drop me a couple of thumbs up. Your interactions with the videos, they help me out a lot, guys. So continue to hit that like and subscribe button. MSRP, a date and time of making this video is 107764. Maybe you can pause the video here. Again, my price can be found over at the website on that link down below. If you don't want to see anything on the outside, I greatly would appreciate those thumbs up, but let's go ahead and transition over to the outside. So another change, and we're gonna get to that, that is gonna be the outdoor kitchen. But take a look at the awnings. We've outfitted this one with two different awnings. The one on the front, the biggest of the two obviously is 20 feet long. You've got frameless windows all the way throughout the RV. Outdoor speakers, and that's gonna be the 20 pound propane bottle tank. You'll have one on each side of the coach. Look at the storage. I do believe this is possibly one of the largest storage bays on a fifth wheel that I've seen. Nice big beefy construction as well. And uh, yeah, I do believe there's a certain YouTuber that made the prototype video that talks about this additional space. He was the founder, I guess you could say, of that. Great guy, great channel if you know who I'm talking about. Really big, thick, beefy baggage doors with slam latches. Lipper component steps, these flip up and inside the door. That's your grab handle. I still have to get out here and remove all the plastic from everything. My main job for the company is taking pictures, getting those pictures uploaded to our website. But I also like to go one step and above and beyond and show all of you guys out there the different makes and models. Blindside camera prep for three cameras, one on each side of the coach plus one in the back. So coming back here, this is the biggest known change from his video. You, his video had a television here, here, and this was just storage for chairs. But the full-on production model 
no longer has that full-on outdoor kitchen or the television over the kitchen just a lot of cabinet space some customers prefer the outdoor kitchen some don't when it comes to a one bedroom rear living coach especially a luxury one that's going to be utilized for a lot of travel before this was just storage for maybe big beach chairs but it still can be utilized for that but you know have connections for a tv so they haven't really removed the outdoor kitchen they're kind of giving it to you in different sections so check it out you still got the TV, you still got the fridge, you've got lots of outlets, lots of additional cabinet space. Even though this is, dude, I'm 6'2". <laughs> so, grab a stool. And you still got LP connections on the back if you decided maybe to bring your own propane grill along. So you still do have kind of the outdoor kitchen, but uh, if you saw the one that was on that prototype, I am more in favor of that one. Coming around to the back, you got the 4x4 tubular bumper with the 2-inch receiver. That is for an uh, additional bike rack or a luggage rack. Fully walkable roof, that's that third blindside camera prep. LED lights all the way throughout. Frameless windows, those are fantastic. Rack and pinion slides. Coming through that 12-inch I-beam construction, really beefy construction. And you're also going to be riding on an upgraded suspension road armor trail air suspension so it gives you an additional three inches of up and down travel making for a lot more smoother ride spare tires in the back 40,000 BTU furnace and that is the 10 gallon gas or electric water heater but something that they take pride in is this is a, this is a 20 gallon per hour electric water heater so they say it can keep up with some of the on-demand The wet bay is on the opposite side of the pass-through. Wet bay because all the water lines come up through the floor, connects to your city water connection or your black tank flush. You're also filled, already trimmed out for possibly adding a filter. I like the added touch of having this right here. So once you're finished with your sewer, you can wash your hands, all your connections. Satellite connections go to each one of the TVs. Leveling controls, let's go over that real quick. So simply by pressing of one button, the coach will level itself. Those controls are found inside of there. But your sewer connection is only one. Back here on the back, that's very nice. And check out this. This is another thing that I like. You see the little light? A lot of times when you're coming into campgrounds, you might find yourself late in the afternoon, but having that additional light right here makes the world a difference i really hope i can find an opportunity to show you that on the video before i edit this one to just let you see that that's that's nice and the last propane bottle of course is going to be over this side here but what do you guys think of the new newly released coachman brookstone model 352 rld Overall, I kind of like the Brookstone. It feels like a really good luxury coach, something that I would definitely recommend to a lot of my customers. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.